everyone, Miss Ramon from the St. Mary Parish Library again. Today we're going to be making an Arby's stress balloon. I have Miss Sue here helping me because I can't blow a balloon for the world. Okay. In y'all bags, I should have got a balloon and a little Arby's thing. And I had put a note in the bag saying, make sure you put your Arby's in a half bottle of water the night before so they can grow. And this is what they look like after they grow. And they're so much fun to play with. And you gotta watch though, when you put them in the balloon, if they fall out, they will bounce all over the floor. Then you gotta go hopping all, looking all over the floor, which is fun too, to do. So this is how we're gonna do it. Mrs. Sue's gonna hold the balloon. So you only need your balloon about that big. Twist. Make sure you twist it enough that you got to let, not let it come untwisted. So hold the twist and stretch this carefully over the top of your water bottle. So this will be, and then you can let it go and untwist. Because now what you're going to do is turn this upside down. So the Orbeez and the water go in the balloon. You're not going to need all the water that's in this bottle, so some of it's going to release. You may have to give it some squeezes to get them in there. See, the Orbeez are slowly going in. It doesn't look like much in there, but remember, you got to let some of this air out. Let the air out in a bucket over the sink. You want some of this water left in there, but you may not need all of it. It might be too much. Okay, see how now you're getting a lot of water? So leave it in the sink over because we're going to just let the water out. Can you see that in there? But just hold it so you don't let your Orbeez out. So that looks pretty good right about there. You're going to have to stretch it and squish them down to tie it. Make sure you tie this really good and tight. And there you go. Ms. Ramona, would you like to give it a good squeeze? Yes, they're really fun to play with. Now you can let less more water out of that if you like, but. Okay guys, and remember, this looks like candy, so do not eat it. You cannot eat this, it's only to play with, not to eat. There you go. You got your fun Arby stress ball. Now for this craft, which is super cool, we're going to grow us a rainbow, all right? So this is how we do it. Okay, now all I've sent you is the instructions on how to do this because you should have all the ingredients at home, all your supplies, okay? So the first thing you're going to do, and this is all about measurements and color, you're going to take your paper towel and you're going to fold it in half, like this. And you're going to take your ruler because you only want seven and a half inches of paper towel. Because if it's longer, it probably the color won't go all the way if, you, if it's longer. So I'm going to measure my paper towel to seven and a half inches. You might need mom to help you with this. Well, but I'm sure you all know how to breathe the ruler for seven and a half inches. Okay, so I'm going to make my little mark so I know where to cut. All right, then I'm going to take my scissors and cut across. Okay, now I have seven and a half inches. Okay. And now what you're going to do, you're going to take, and I use the four colors, right, these four colors right here, the blue, and you're going to make four rectangles on each end of your paper towel. How about a fourth of an inch? And you color them in real good. And you're going to use washable markers. Because if you use uh, permanent markers, the dye won't flow. Washable markers, it'll flow. I 
I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. You have to have both sides so you can put them in each cup so they can meet in the middle. And this is how it's supposed to look. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to take your bottle of water and you're going to put three-fourths cup of water in each glass. Okay, this doesn't have three-fourths, but I know almost up to the one, there's almost three-fourths. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put the water here. Another three fourths. In this cup. All right. So now what you're going to do, you're going to put each end into the glass, and you only put the bottom part, about, about a half inch, into the glass. Then you need to put the side in. We can get there, and so the colors can start climbing. And it usually takes about five minutes, but as you can already see, this side's already starting to climb, and it makes your water pretty too. The girls in the back call it fairy water because it makes the pretty blues and purples and greens. It takes about five to ten minutes, but it'll all meet in the middle. It's like making magic. All right, girls and boys, we've grown a rainbow. How cool is that? Okay, this is Miss Ramona's last program. I just want to wish everyone a very happy summer. Till we see each other next time. Bye-bye.